So Flowdesk really is killing it with their new features they keep releasing. And I love the fact that sometimes they silently roll it out and then wait for somebody in the Flowdesk insider community to find that feature, share their excitement, and then Flowdesk announces it. I just love those little Easter egg type of rollouts. It's just so much fun. Now, here's what's cool. Inside of your Flowdesk editor, when you're creating an email, you now have a new block called poll. And you can see that there are a variety of different poll designs already available. You can see some of them even allow images. Now, what's really cool is you don't need to make a page on your own website or when somebody clicks a poll. Flowdesk is creating a link for you already, and it goes way beyond this. So check out what I've done. I've got my audience, which I know they like getting email content, right? Because they're on my email list. I know they like getting blog content because I send them blog content through my emails. However, you know, I also do videos. You're watching a video right now. I've written books. I do podcasting. And I, I haven't done my own event in a while, but I've, I've done in-person events, whether I'm speaking at one or whether I'm creating my own, which again, I haven't done my own personal my own workshop in a while, but I speak at events quite often. Now, here's what's really cool. When you add the block, okay, first of all, you can you can control the design of the block. Of course, you can change colors and spacings and fonts and all that stuff, right? You can change the the, the actual text, the header, like everything else, you can change the, the, the button text, how that looks, everything. But when you click on the actual pull block the like the inside part right you can then add new options and remove options reorder them and when you click on one you can again sort of like the when you add a link and you can do a link action you can do a link action but with the pull of what what the people would do okay what the people what would happen when they actually click the 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 button in the poll or the link in the poll so you can have them add to a segment so for example I don't have anything happening for blog content because again, I'm sending them blog content already or email content because they're on my email list now. However, if they click books, they're in a segment called books. If they click videos, they're in a segment called videos. If they click audio podcast, they're in my segment for my podcast. And if they click in-person workshops, events, they're in my events segment, which now I know if I need to promote an event, I can email that segment specifically. I can have them say, you know, if interest, do this, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. I can have it do all those things and I can add more poll options. And what happens at the end is, let me just quickly uh, show you, I have an example. Okay, so when they click it from the email, they're gonna go to a landing page. You can see it's a Flowdesk landing page. This is a preview, but when they click it, they'll see the poll results to see how many people we don't have control over how that looks yet from what I can find. I am sure that's coming, but for now, I'm very pleased with how simple this is for us to do. You can see, I maybe it's just matching the branding of the, of the block, but I can't control the background from here. I can't control if I want to hide the total number of votes or not. I can't control that kind of thing. But these are the type of things that we could request in the Flowdesk Insider community and you, you never know. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you because again, I love the Flowdesk is doing these, these sick features that are truly changing the game for so many small businesses.